Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh guys how are you today my name is Adnan Zafar welcome to another info vlog and today I'm going to show you how you can apply for a Saudi visa visa from your home no need for any agent it was a very difficult process before but now they make it very easy for GCC residents GCC mean the Gulf Corporation countries that is Kuwait, Bahrain, Oman, Qatar, UAE all these country residents can apply Saudi visa visa from their home in less than 10 minutes. Requirements? Very few. Your passport should be valid for 6 months or more. Your QID copy or Ikama copy, in other countries we say Ikama copy, a Qatar ID, a UID copy and a white background photo. And the last, you need a credit card to make the payment online. So before any due, let me show you how to apply for Saudi visa. So let us start this application. So first of all, we have this website called visa.mofa.gov.sa. So before you start anything, you need to make a new account here. If you do not have an account, just click individual login. And here you cannot use this option because this option is only for Saudi residents. Here you can register yourself a new account with an email password two time password and so after you make the account you need to log in with your account by simply putting the ID after login you will come to this page here you have all the application that you already been applied and you have used your uh, application you have created so I already applied for three visas and already been printed so I will start a new application just to let you know how to work on it so this is the first information it will show you the services all the warranty termination okay now these two points are very important these are these two fees are non refundable fees $10 and $0.5 so this is a process fees and electro electronic visa process fees is a $10 this is a non-refundable fees if somehow your visa got rejected. So let's say agree. I understand I hereby all this information will be there. So let us start this one. Once we reach to this page, you need to choose which visa type you are looking for. So best option is tourism visit. And then you need to see this is the option transport mode by air, by land, by sea. Make sure you choose open so you can travel what, whatever in however you want to travel by car by ship or by plane so here Saudi mission in Doha they are asking you which embassy you uh, you are applying for so for us we are in Qatar so we are, I have chosen Doha so first name is Junaid and last name is Tariq so I will just upload the white background picture here it will take some time and it will be uploaded after that choose nationality Pakistan here also whatever nationality you are so these are the three option you should have a valid tourist or business visa from United States of America or United Kingdom or Shenzhen countries has been used at least once to enter the visa issuing country second option to have permanent residency in United States or a third option a valid residence for a period for no less than three months in the country of cooperation GCC this is the option for us all the GCC countries should choose this option after that you should put your visa number that is a ikama number in uh, in many languages so two eight nine five eight six zero three one and then the expiry date of that ikama that should have at least six month validity make sure you enter this information correctly otherwise it will be big issue on for you so here we choose issuing country from which country you are so we are from Qatar occupation so here you need to choose exactly what is written on your ikama for him it's written computer technical engineer and here we will put copy of passport like this and then a valid ikama copy make sure it is not PDF file this website does not accept PDF file it has to be JPG or PNG file after that you need to enter passport number let me quickly enter the passport number
this is the whole information you require to enter from your passport very carefully do not make any mistake otherwise your visa application will be rejected or you will have you will face issue on the airport or wherever you will go to you will face big issues with your visas and here KSC home address you can mention staying in hotel just like that this phrase or uh, if you are going to stay with your family you just put their uh, their city name and all this area so which port you are going to enter we can say from Doha side we will come from Riyadh side expected date you can put for example 2023 January 6 here is very good so currently they are giving you right away multiple visa with visa validity of 365 days and duration of stays 90 days and here they are asking you a very important question do you want to perform opera say yes have you ever traveled to other country during last five years of course we have traveled a lot so enter this information here here you need to enter the information when the last time you have traveled one is more than enough the most recent travel you can upload here no, you don't need to enter all five year records just enter the, the the most recent trip you have done and where it was and what was the reason for that now we will reach to the next page where you need to enter the medical insurance information for the visit and the transit visas enter the expected entry date for example whenever you are planning to travel and then put your zip code email address is very important because you are going to receive your email address for sorry your visa into your email address and your mobile number so here are you currently receiving any medical information if you have any disability all this information are no so we'll just say save now we are on the payment process after choosing the cheapest insurance you will it will take you to the payment process so here you need to understand one thing there will be four different transaction will be taken from your credit card so don't need to worry about it there will be four different steps so I will show you these steps right now but I will have to make it quicker so I'll just make them fast forward so don't worry about it the total fees are will be are coming around under 500 real I will show you at the end what will be the total fees why there are four type of transactions because some transaction are refundable and some are not refundable so that's why they, they kept all the transaction separately so in the future if you have any issue you can refund your visa fees but not the processing or insurance fees so these are the four transactions first of all is an application fees then there is a visa fees there is a medical insurance service fees medical insurance fees so total will be around 100 14 dollar that is equivalent to 444 real or you can calculate in your currency in Oman, Bahrain or Kuwait so right after when you completed all the accessible payment you will receive an email with your visa in this email right away let me show you quickly so once I this is the policy also will come once I re inbox refresh it I will receive a Saudi tourist visa right away in my email you can see the visa is ready it is valid for one year as you can see here 2023 90 days all this information is there now guys you want to apply for your son or your daughter that is under 18 year old that means they are under your sponsorship so just choose the visa type the same visa type should be taken as a tourism visit keep the transport mode same open and then choose from where you are applying from put his or her first name or last name then choose the photo current nationality is Pakistan past also Pakistan and then choose a valid ID card number you, you should have all this information in front of you then when is, this, is it is expiring issuing country is Qatar here occupation choose same as 
the father i will tell you why because there is no option for kids so we need to add copy of the passport then we need to add copy of the id so both will be uploaded then here you need to enter the passport number so currently you see there is no option here so once i put all the details for my son there is a new field that will be visible so we need to fill that normal passport Asian country is Pakistan date of issue of the passport make sure you enter this information very very carefully because this information has all your data and uh, you know if it's wrong you will have big issue so date of expiry place of birth Qatar date of birth so currently you see there is no option here once I put the date of birth for my son that is under 16 under 18 year old you see this will be visible for you down now choose the port Riyadh date is inshallah expected to be in January same number of entity multiple 365 days duration of stay 90 days here you need to enter the dependent application number so he is going with me so I am the sponsor so obviously you have a visa before so just copy your application number and paste it here but do not copy the E remove the E and then choose Pakistan passport number choose relationship father yes so we have traveled to Saudi actually so we will choose the same thing purpose it was a visit from date it was May you don't have to be precise for these dates they just want to know where you have traveled so what is the travel history and then save say continue so now the application has been saved and application number has been a lot what is your expected entry date as we mentioned before it's uh, 2023 you can just put any random date for and then put your PO box for Doha Doha and just put this email is very important don't make any mistake writing an email because you will receive a visa copy from it no no he don't have Alhamdulillah any issues save it and then the same process will continue so I hope this video will be will help you to get the visa for you and for your family if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Barakatuh at the end of the video, I would like to give a big thanks to Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Saudi Arabia, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. They have made our life very easy by giving us this opportunity to apply visa online and visit the Holy Land of Saudi Arabia. If you like this video, please share with your friends. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. I will be really, really happy to help you guys. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.